Hello beautiful people, I hope that you're doing well today. Now, if you haven't noticed by the title of this video, I am gonna be flipping this room in 24 hours and this is the utility room in my family home. Now, this room has definitely seen better days and I wanna give it a whitewash on the walls and a few bits of decor pieces just to lift it a little bit. As I said, it's gonna be a 24 hour flip. I don't have lots of time to kind of like transform this essentially, but I wanted to show you how you guys can do this on a budget, just uplift a room and make it nice and fresh and welcoming again. But before we get into this video, I just wanted to touch on some legalities with you. Now, please make sure you're subscribed, please like this video, please comment on this video, and please turn on your notification bells because I am going to be trying my hardest to upload twice a week now, and I would love it if you were there to view the videos when I do so. I appreciate you so much, thank you, and let's get into it. That is one big crack. We are gonna be filling that later on with polyfill just to smooth it out and make it look fresh and new again. As always, we're starting off by taking anything off the walls that doesn't need to be there, including old curtain rods, hooks, old wall plugs that haven't even been used in years and years and years. And just a quick tip for you guys, if you don't already know, use an old screw to twist into a wall plug that is there and pull it out rather than trying to get it out with pliers. It's so much easier. I'm brushing all the walls down because we are going to be painting everything from the walls to the ceiling. Guys, I cannot tell you how bad this paint was coming off the walls. This is because of years of a cycle of washing clothes and causing condensation, drying it out, and then all of the paint just kind of dried out and flecked off the walls. I didn't want to just paint over this as it was and leave a horrible texture, so I thought, let's get it all off. So I just used a paint scraper, and honestly, it took me a few hours, but it left a really nice finish. Be myself, I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. These appliances had years of yellowing stains, so I took them down and we're gonna spray paint them later on to make them look fresh and new again. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I must have used a full pot of filler for this room. <laughs> there were so many holes and cracks and you know it's an older house so you're going to expect that. If you want a nicer paint job make sure that you're putting the effort in for the prep work. Things like filling in holes can make the paint appear a lot smoother and make the room look more finished. <laughs> Do you ever start a project thinking it's gonna take maybe four hours, then it takes 10 times longer, cause same. <laughs> In all honesty, this project took so much longer than expected. I think we were up till like 4 a.m. painting and just, uh, there was a lot, guys. I just want to apologize for the poor quality of filming across the whole of this video. I only had my phone camera with me and it was 11 o'clock at night by this point. So the lighting inside the room wasn't great. So just gonna have to stick with me here. You get the gist of it, but we were painting this for honestly what felt like hours and hours and hours. It must've genuinely been like six hours because every time I rolled onto that wall, which was damaged underneath, it just kept flecking off bits of paint. I could have cried, but that's what you get with older houses. So we persisted, went to bed and woke up and it was actually quite a good outcome outcome. I was so happy to see that the paint actually stuck to the walls really well and it looked really good. There were only a couple of spots that needed an extra layer or two so I was actually really happy with the outcome of this. Yeah. 
I was just gonna try and be lazy and spray this on the wall because I didn't know if I could take it off, but eventually I just took the front cover off the wall, took everything outside and sprayed it down with a white appliance plastic spray, which I will tell you now, if there's anything you should do when you're doing these little uplifts of a room is spray your furniture and your appliances because it makes all the difference. So I'm not too sure how clear this is coming across on screen. I can see it because I know what I'm looking for, but there were these weird oil splodges on the wall which I just couldn't paint over. So I went and bought some paint block which is in a spray can and it's essentially like a primer so it allows whatever you're painting on top to stick. I gave the wall a couple of coats of the spray and it actually worked pretty well. <laughs> This is really weird but when we moved in the people before didn't put window sills on two of the windows and it was a weird texture underneath so I just filled it with polyfiller and smoothed it out just as a temporary measure. When I tell you I was delirious I literally had like three four hours sleep and that hair let's not talk about it okay second coat of paint actually went on really well there were a few little flecks that came off again but the majority of it was pretty good so we just made sure to make it really opaque by giving it two solid coats of white paint Tired Sade is not a vibe. I needed to use the spirit level and the one mum and dad had was too big so I actually ended up using the one on Google on my phone which was perfect. I went in and I installed these shelves, I'm just showing you here, to drill down to the perfect size for a plug just put some tape around the length and it'll go on perfectly. I was actually super impressed with that spirit level on the phone because it was actually spot on. Oh, that is empty. Oh my god. Look good. Is this straight? I don't know. Those shelves were so easy to throw up. They cost about £10, I think, if I remember correctly, and they were the nicest grey colour, so it tied into the room perfectly. If the gleam on this newly sprayed appliance is not enough for a like, then I don't know what is. Please like this video, thumbs up if you love how white this turned out and pretty much how brand new it looks. It genuinely looks like we've got new appliances fitted. Amazing. And for the final touches, we decided to repurpose these baskets that mum had in the bathroom upstairs. And we just put things like colour grabbers, washing powders in these baskets, again, just to make a really nice tidy organisation station and just to keep everything in one knit place together. One knit place, one close knit place. I don't know what the saying is. <laughs>
there we have it folks the 24 hour room flip this utility room now looks fresh and bright and welcoming and clean we managed to do this on about 30 pounds budget and i'm so impressed with the results it's easy to do you could do it yourself why not give it a try anyway guys if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up leave me a comment down below please subscribe and turn on your notification bells so you don't miss my videos anyway guys that's it take care of yourselves i love you lots bye Mm-hmm.